Shalom and welcome to uh, The Living Supernaturally where we learn about God's Word, meditate on His Word. This week we have been looking at God's Word and God's truth for the youth. And Jeremy has been sharing his thoughts and his concerns. And uh, Jeremy and I have been talking about God's Word and how it can apply to different areas of a youth's life. Jeremy? So today I want to bring up that uh, when we speak of Christ to other people, it generally doesn't have the same reaction in er everyone. It's that some people may be willing to listen, but other people actually get offended by it. And some people even get angry or upset when we share our faith. And I don't know what our stand should be in situations like this. Mm, that's an excellent thought, Jeremy. And I want to bring before you a scripture before we look into that in detail. And I want to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14 to 15. It reads, But thanks be to God, who, is, who in Christ always leads us in triumph, and through us spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of Him everywhere. For we are the aroma of Christ to God among those who are being saved and among those who are perishing. So, you know, the Bible calls us to spread the good news like a sweet perfume. And he refers to us as the aroma of Christ or as the fragrance of Christ. So like you said, you know, as you go around this world speaking of Christ, it may not really invoke the same reactions um, that you would expect. But we are called yet to be the aroma of Christ. We understand that the knowledge of the gospel is, uh, is life-giving. And, the, and it, it comes in as the word of peace and hope. For some people, like you said, it can be offensive. Uh, it may not attract the same, the same as, as you would expect, but we are called to be that aroma. Like for example, let's say you're walking in a garden and you, know, you would like to smell some flowers. The, these flowers are intended to give a sweet aroma and it draws us to that. But there are some people who may be allergic to it or have reactions to it or who do not like it. But that does not mean that we can back off from being, enjoying the presence or the, or, or the smell of that, that flower. Similarly, we can't back off from being the aroma of Christ just because there may be people who are offended by the gospel. Because we understand that, you know, the greatest characteristic that God would like in us is to be that aroma, is to be the fragrance of God because it is this aroma that really impacts the life of others, those who you may be interacting with. It Im impacts every person that you meet. So when this aroma is emanating from our lives, when it is coming from our lives, remember that God is that source. God is the one who will bring about that change in people. So I challenge you and I want to encourage you to be that aroma. And as believers, let us all come to that place of being that, that aroma and not hide it, but allow and uh, emanate that the beauty, the freshness, the, the life-giving spirit and power of the gospel to flow through us even as we minister to others, no matter if it is being rejected. Let us remember that God is the one who will ensure that the fruit has been born. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have called us to be your fragrance. You have called us to be the aroma of Christ so that wherever we go, that we can show others of who you are to us and also emanate the beauty and the, and the goodness of your love and your salvation. We pray that you will give each one of us the courage, and especially the youth who are watching today. You will give them the courage to be that aroma who spreads your beautiful fragrance. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.